peachtool.com. G'day guys, today I'm talking about these things. Do you know what these are? These are swirl rings for the old cheap Chinese plasma torches. They don't look like much and they don't look like they do much, but if you have a crack in one or they're not working properly, then you can have all sorts of issues with your torch. A lot of problems just originate with this little thing here. Anyway guys, here's your story. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like or drop me a comment, say hi Pete, and uh, let's get into this, eh? Hee hee! So with most of these Chinese torches guys, you're going to have a uh, swirl ring in it. And the PT31 or the LG40, the swirl ring looks like this. So if you have a crack or something in this, this can give you no end of bother when you're trying to cut. Because it just doesn't, it doesn't make the plasma go the way it's supposed to go. Because uh, the compressed air comes through these little holes, I don't know if you can see them or not in there. And uh, yeah, it affects, really affects the way it cuts. So the SG51 has a swirl ring as well, it's another Chinese plasma torch, like so. Here's quite a big one, but the same sort of thing, it's got holes in it for your compressed air to come through, and this has given you the same sort of trouble, if this thing has got a crack in it, it'll give all sorts of issues. There's the same, and even if when you go to, like one of these torches, which is AG60, and you might think, Pete, this one hasn't got a ceramic, swirl ring in it but it has you take the electrode out and if you look down the guts of it here you can see here and here there's a ceramic swirl ring once again if it cracks you have all sorts of issues I'll show you what it does with the PT31 torch if you run it without it or you run it with a cracked one I'll show you what it does to your torch and uh, a lot of issues with the torches is just the fact that the swirl ring is buggered or the ceramic has got a crack in it now not only does the swirl ring in these PT31 torches play up, but the actual ceramic on the top here, like the ceramic cut, this can really affect the way that you, uh, your plasma cut as well. What, what they do is, see there's one here, and it blows the top off it. It actually literally blows the top off it. Once it gets brittle, what it will do is it will crack all the way around here, and you won't notice it, and it will still have the top on it. And then you go to cut, and it cuts real nasty and real ugly, and it's as if something's wrong with your torch, which well, is but it's just a ceramic, but it just makes you feel like your machine's crapping out a little bit. And then if you keep using it, maybe a day or so later, it'll actually blow the top off, and then you realise that it had a big crack around it. And uh, yeah, so that's just a thing to look out for. But I mean, these these um, ceramics are as cheap as chips, and, and these these swirl rings that give a lot of trouble, they were virtually nothing. I think they're worth about three or four cents each. So uh, yeah, if you want to buy them, I'll wax the links down below. But I mean, they're cheap as they you buy them in a kit anywhere. But um, I'll show you what happens when uh, this thing has got a crack in it and you try and cut. I'll show you what happens with your PT31 torch. Alrighty, hey guys, I'll do a cut with this torch now. It's got a good ceramic and a good swirl ring in it, like these. No cracks, and we'll see what it cuts like. Perfect. Cuts good, eh? Feels good, cuts good. Right, so now I'm going to do another cut, but what I'm going to do is put a damaged swirl ring in it. So what I'll do now, guys, is put a half a swirl ring in there, just like it's damaged. But what it'll still do is it'll still hold the electrode out, so that just simulates it's got a crack in it. Because it's very hard to uh, put one back in that's been smashed. So we'll put the electrode on like that, and then I'll put the uh, ceramic cup on the top. Like so, and then we'll just screw them up, guys. <laughs> See what happens. And we're in there, we're in there tight. So this is just simulating that we have a swirl ring that's got a big crack in it. Right, now let's see how it cuts. <laughs> So here we go guys, we've got a bucket swirl ring in the torch and it's only this little piece here, you wouldn't think it would make any difference at all. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just like this with your torch. Not even cutting, see it's still all sorts of horrible shit. See that guys, it's not even cutting it, it's just sort of, I don't know, melting out the side of it. 
and it makes you feel like that your uh, machine's all crapped out and there's something really seriously wrong with your machine. So that cut like absolute crap guys. So what I'll do is I'll show you. We'll pull this to bits. There's our busted swirl ring. Can you see it? The original tip and the original cup. We'll get rid of that busted swirl ring. I've got another swirl ring here, a new one. We'll put the swirl ring on here, same electrode, same tip, same cup. Yeah, ba da ba do. Let's see what we can cut this time, just with changing that little thing that's worth two cents. Absolutely incredible guys, absolutely incredible. This little buggered thing here can ruin your day, ruin your week. Trust me, I have spent hours when I first started plasma cutting with these little cheap machines trying to figure out why the torch wouldn't work. I even took the machine back to the shop once and he looked at me as if I had two heads and said, what are you doing wrong? Because we plugged the torch into it and it worked perfect. So there you go, you see? You live and learn. This is a trick for young players. These little varmint things here cost nothing but can cause your life a misery. <laughs> especially with your plasma cutting guys so guys you're using any of these Chinese plasma torches remember the little less things can just irritate the crap out of you well it does me anyway just watch out for those swirl rings because all these have got different sorts of swirl rings even though you might not think it has one that looks the same as this or this but there'll be one in there just make sure it hasn't got any cracks or anything in it because it can save you a lot of time and a lot of grief anyway guys if you like the channel subscribe drop me a like drop me a comment I'm going to go and put my swimming togs on there and go and scare away some sharks Anyway, guys, see you next time. Bye-bye. Peachtools.com.com.com.